What's really exciting is knowing that a whole construction crew would be waiting for your output, for your recommendations in order to proceed with, with the project. That's something really interesting. Hi, my name is Omar. Uh, I work as a geotechnical engineer uh, here in Terracon. I was born here and I grew up in Cairo, Egypt. From the very first construction management course in my undergrad, I really liked it. So when I first started working, I, uh, I worked in construction management field. I was introduced to other specializations of, of engineering. I've been working for about two years before I shift to geotechnical engineering. Civil engineering is, is a big umbrella to different specializations of engineering. There is, for example, structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, construction management, environmental engineering. For example, the structural guys take care of the structure or the skeleton of a building. Geotechnical folks take care of the soil on which this building will be built. So we study the engineering properties of these kind of soils and we provide recommendations to the structural engineer to be able to proceed with their design. The most challenging part is when I have a client whose job site soils are not really good. So I need to think outside the box and come up with non-traditional solutions to help the soils in their job site to carry more load than what is supposed to carry so that it could support their structure or project. Terracon is, is a consulting engineering company, so in short, we make sure that a building or a, or a structure uh, would be safe from bottom to top, from soil to roof, not only buildings or structures. We also make sure our roadways, our bridges are safe enough to use by, uh, by fellow citizens because we also use it. So. My advice for students who want to pursue a career in geotechnical engineering or any other specialization is to talk to practitioners in that specialization, to touch base with them, to see what they do. It's different than what we are taught in school. We learn the skills and the basics in school, but practicing is, is way more different. What would be missing if we didn't have geotechnical engineering is we would be having buildings with huge cracks, buildings that uh, might settle down into the ground, scary stuff like that. <laughs>